to take trips and friends and have groups to to dilute the operations of everything that they present? Uh, absolutely. I mean, you uh, you really have to be on your details when you play against a team like this. You know, they're they're not going to beat themselves. It's something that Zim has stressed to us. Um, you know, we have to go in there and play clean football and. Um, we've kind of addressed that here over the last couple of weeks, you know, especially as an offense that, um, you know, we can't beat ourselves and someone else. And that really holds true when you play against a team like this. You know, they're always in the bottom of the league in penalties and, and self-inflicted wounds, turnovers. So uh, we'll have to play clean football for four quarters. Given what the Belichick is known for, taking away big weapons, maybe like Adam, does that give you the idea that this could be a big game for you or is there an opportunity to do that? Yeah, um, you know, I think as an offense, we showed last week that, you know, we're pretty tough to defend and, um, you know, it makes it hard to, to double guys when you have as many playmakers as we have and when we're dispersing the ball around to five, six guys, um, you know, we're, we're unpredictable and we're more difficult to defend. Kyle, Mike Zimmer made the comment after Sunday's game. He said maybe you were a little bit frustrated that you weren't getting the ball prior to uh, the Packer game. And I guess he said he talked to you. How did mm -hmm. that kind of go? Did he just stress being patient and you guys got a lot of weapons? Yeah, I mean, the, the frustration comes because I'm a competitor and, um, you know, we weren't winning games. Uh, I thought I could help our offense make plays um, in certain situations that would help our team win games. And, um, you know, basically we just dove into, you know, when are those situations and um, how can I help this offense be more productive? And, you know, at times that's helping in protection and chipping and all the things that I talk to you guys about all the time. Um, but there are certain situations in the game where that's not the case. And I felt like I could help our team out. And, you know, it just – it kind of clicked there on, on Sunday night, and you know I was able to see more production that I'm accustomed to. So you talked to him last week? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, just talk about the first half that you had. I mean, obviously, you were a key weapon. Right? Yeah, it was fun. You know, it's fun to run around and be involved and move the chains, uh, help set up scores. So, um, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Did that change at all? You think how they approached you in the second half? Or do you think you got some more attention? No. Uh, you know, the ball just didn't come my way in the second half. Um, you know, for whatever reason, we, it's just the way it works sometimes. You know, you have seven catches in the first half and none in the second. But, you know, there were times that we, you know, could have gotten the ball. But, um, you know, other guys were making plays and, um, you know, we continued to move the ball. We held the ball for almost the entire fourth quarter, which is huge, uh, playing against uh, one of the best quarterbacks in the game. So uh, it's big to hold on to the ball as an offense and control the clock. Uh, the last three last year, probably, um, especially the Bengals one, uh, coach Zimmer ruled me out on Friday, uh, and I just begged Shugs to give me a chance. Um, so, you know, you look at the course of the last four years and being able to rack up 60 straight. Um, I say it all the time that I accredit it to good luck. You have to have good luck. If you can do all that you want throughout the course of the week, throughout the course of an off season, prepare, work as hard as you want and, this game is physical and there's collisions and if you have bad luck, you're not going to start 60 straight games. So um, I've been very fortunate to be lucky over the last four years. Yeah, um, you know, unfortunately I had a, an injury that was a little mismanaged in college. And then, um, you know, I mentioned earlier this week, I scored a touchdown against the Dallas Cowboys and the guy that I broke the tackle landed on my foot and it broke. So, um, you know, that's I kind of tell people, especially young guys in this league that are now asking me about durability. Um, there are certain injuries that you can control. Um, and when you play this game long enough, the injury rate is 100 percent. You're going to get hurt at some point. Um, and there are ones that you can't control. So um, as long as you control the ones that you can control and, you know, you're taking care of your body and avoiding the, the muscle injuries and things like that. Um, the impact ones uh, are going to come at some point if you play long enough, and you just you got to battle through them. Kyle, you've had seasons obviously of eighty plus catches, fifty plus catches. How much are used in receiving? There's a lot depending on a lot of the factors, like how the receivers are doing and what have you. Um, over the years. Yeah, I mean, it depends on coordinator. Mm -hmm. um, it depends on situational football, our offense, um, play calling. 
so yeah, a lot of things that I don't control. So uh, I try not to worry about that. And, um, you know, one of the things throughout the last few weeks that I always try to stress to myself was just control what you can control. And that's my work ethic and my preparation and, um, you know, being one of the first ones here every day and making sure that I can go out there. And um, when the opportunities do come, like seven times on Sunday night in the first half, that I catch every one of them. Um, so we, just the way that I try to approach my work on a daily basis. The fact that you did overcome some early hurdles, how much pride do you have in just hitting that 100 number? It's cool. I mean, you know, you come into this league as a young kid, and, you know, I remember early in my career when, you know, guys like Chad Greenway were making their 100th start, and you know, think about how many games that is and how, how many years of football they played. Uh, so to be at that point now, it's pretty cool. Um, I still feel like I have a lot of football left in me, hopefully another 100 at least. Um, so, you know, looking forward to a, a lot more years to come. Now, is Rob Gronkowski someone you respect as far as tight ends go? And what do you think makes him most evil? Absolutely. Uh, Rob's, you know, been the best, if not one of the best for, you know, every year that I've been in this league. And Rob's a guy that um, is the old school tight end. He is called upon in the run game and pass protection. Um, he's also a great receiver. So, you know, Rob is a guy that's just not out there in situational football, um, not doing the dirty work and kind of just running around and catching balls. Uh, so I have a lot of respect for Rob and his game. You just said he was the good offense, holding on to the ball and keeping you one of the best quarterbacks off the field. Yeah. Same, same deal. Absolutely. It'll be huge for us this week. You know, we, we got to be really good on third down. You know, if we convert third downs and maintain possession of the football, um, we think we have the best defense in football, but um, what's even better than our defense is our offense staying on the field and, and keeping Tom on the sidelines. So it'll be big for us to possess the football on, on Sunday afternoon. Kyle, after you had the talk with Sonoma, mm -hmm. what was the feeling that you had? Is it a, kind of a sense of relief or a sense of, I told you I can still be a part of it? Or you know, it's obviously it's good to be involved in the run around and make plays. Um, you know, had the game gone the way the last few went, you know, as long as I'm going out and executing my assignments and, and doing what I can, um, I know those guys upstairs are going to do what they can to get the ball in my hands. Um, so, yeah, it was great to be involved, and I, I had a ton of fun. Like I said, in that first half, it was, you know, you feel like a kid just running around making plays and the ball's constantly coming your way. Um, but had that not been the case, I don't think it would have deterred me from coming back to work on Monday morning and preparing myself the way that I have every week so far this year um, because you never know when those opportunities are going to come. Uh, and it's a long season, so at some point, seven balls are going to come my way. And, you know, if you dwell on the times that it didn't come, you may squander those opportunities. And uh, that's something that you can't do. You know, when you're asking for opportunities, you have to take advantage of them when they come. Yeah, you bet.